Hey there, I'm David Wolf with Tech Power Up News, and this week NVIDIA lifted the veil on their GTX 1070 GPU, Asus teased a mystery high power NVIDIA mobile GPU, and more, all coming up. <laughs> NVIDIA finally has released the GTX 1070 specs, and there's been a bit of a mixed reaction. The card is based on the 16 nanometer GP104 silicon, with a transistor count of 7.2 billion. So just about one transistor for every living person on the planet. The 1070 features a total of 1,920 CUDA cores, a 25% cut down from the 2560 on the 1080. The card also still makes good use of the old 256-bit GDDR5. This has a few people a little grumpy. Though I'm not entirely sure why, is the 1070 at the time of launch will be a good two to $300 cheaper than the GTX 1080. Getting back to the details of the card itself, the core runs at a base clock of 1,506 MHz, with a boost frequency shooting it up to 1683. It also features 120 TMUs, 64 ROPs, 8 GB of that good old GDDR5, clocked at 2 GHz, 8 GHz effective, which sounds pretty swell, 6.45 Teraflop single precision floating point performance and all this on a pretty low 150 watt TDP. And if you go to the official product page, they have this cool mesmerizing graphic. Woo! I apologize. I guess Nvidia knew that people's jimmies would be rustled so they chose to omit this information from their paper launch two weeks ago. If the card really does hold its own against the older Titan X, then I feel Nvidia has a winner on their hands. Having that level of performance attainable for $379 is pretty sweet, though it's 50 bucks higher than the GTX 970's launch price. I still feel dual 1070s and SLI will be a popular configuration for those that can afford it. The GTX 1070 will be available for purchase on June 10th, 2016, because next year is too late. Back on Thursday, AMD announced plans to run a press conference at Computex 2016 in Taipei, Taiwan. AMD will be launching their 7th generation of A-series processors, giving some info, updates on Polaris, and more stuffs. The event will feature presentations from numerous big shots at AMD, and will be streamed live at, by AMD at the link on the screen, right about here somewhere. And will be available to be rewatched later, just in case you couldn't watch the event live. I'm hoping AMD has something crazy up its sleeve for the event with NVIDIA's Pascal chips looking so freaking sweet. Also, Vega 10 and 11, whatever they're freaking called, they're really far away. Please make Polaris look really good or something. I really hope it's good. It doesn't sound like it's going to be very good. Can you believe it's been eight months since laptops with a fully-fledged GTX 980 came out? Now Asus is teasing us with pictures and performance numbers of a GPU they're using in an upcoming laptop that's slightly faster than the GTX Titan X, codenamed GXXX. Gee, I wonder what it could possibly be. The chip is based on the Pascal architecture and should be displayed by Asus in their product at Computex. When making a graph, if you want your crap to look good, just make your friggin' y-axis really short. Then people will look at it and go, gee, it's so much faster. See? This graph is half as long, that means the laptop is twice as fast. No trickery here, guys. That's the kind of quality you can expect from Asus. That's all the news I have for this week, but there's more every week, so stick around. Naturally, I can't fit absolutely everything that happens each week into these videos. Luckily, we have a website, techpowerup.com, where we post the latest news. Right here is techpowerup.com. Right around here. Also in that same vein, we have the forums, where you can ask questions, read up on other people's experiences with different tech, and you name it, and that is where this is gonna go. Click on these things. Go these places. Clicky clicky. Goodbye.